Good morning, motor cars. It is Friday, January 8th of 2016. That number seems really odd, doesn't it, when you say it? 2016. I imagine when I was a kid that this would be the future and we would have flying cars and jetpacks and spaceships like the Jupiter 2 from Lost in Space by now. We don't have any of that quite yet. Birthdays this weekend. Wendy Vaughn and Robert Stanichek. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Happy birthday, guys. Anniversaries this weekend. Mike Skilton and Richard Witt. Happy anniversary. I have some factoids for you today about cars. Every day, about 165,000 cars are built. But despite that, fewer than one in seven people on Earth actually own a car. 95% of a car's lifetime is spent parked. That's kind of sad in a way. The average junk car contains $1.65 in change. I bet you my couch has more than that in it. The average cost to own, fuel, and maintain a vehicle in the U.S. is about $9,000 a year. And the average non-hybrid vehicle emits more than 3.5 tons of carbon dioxide per year. That one kind of stunned me. Auto accidents are the number one cause of death for people under age 35. And the fastest street legal vehicle, and my personal favorite, is the Bugatti Veyron Supersport, which cruises along at 267 miles per hour. If anyone in the lottery pool wins this weekend and is feeling generous, I'd like a black one, please. Sharon in the BDC got a nice kudos today. The customer said that he was feeling down when he called, but Sharon lifted his spirits and made him feel good about himself again. He also said that management should stop spending all of their money on expensive cigars, raise the cost on all of our vehicles, and pay that money to Sharon. That one made my day. Kudos to you, Sharon. Good job. Matt Guile, a few of our sales managers, and I just got back from two intense days meeting with Vin Solutions, the folks who created our sales CRM. We learned a lot during our time in Kansas City, and we were able to help them with deciphering our dealer.com notes which our sales team should start to see in VIN Solutions over the next few days. We're also working to make certain that all of our service customers are loaded into VIN Solutions as well. Also, over the past week, the BDC and the folks in Honda and Toyota Service have been meeting with a terrific consultant named George Wilson. We met him at a recent Toyota 20 Group conference, and we were really impressed, so much so that we invited him to come to Cleveland to kick our tires and help us improve everything, from upselling to how we handle phone calls to how we tell our story to customers in every way that we touch them. We are unique in our industry, but we live that every day. So it's easy to forget to let customers know about everything that we offer and just how cool we really are. I'm also proud to announce that we now reach more than 45,000 people every month via four different newsletters. One for Honda customers, another for Toyota customers, customers who visit our downtown service center, and now one for our mobility customers. As you can see, we're hitting 2016 running. Have a great weekend, motor cars.